Sorry about that, fam. There is an amazing way to make your Chromebook faster in 2022. Sorry for the low budget video today. I just wanted to make a quick video because I just found this out. And um, I bought this Chromebook used because I just wanted something that doesn't have... Okay, so apparently my high school allows you to bring your own Chromebook. But I'm like... When they get mad because you're bypassing the software where they can spy on you. Apparently, just a lot of people have done it and they just never get in trouble. So, I was like, I uh, guess you're allowed to have your own Chromebook. <laughs> Although, I would secretly, if I, if I wish they had it. But I would have got the same model as the schools, but, like, just upgraded. I got this for 80 bucks used and I've had this before and it was decent in 2018. So, I got it again. And, of course, developer mode on, animations off. Just like an Android, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Oh, if you do, you have to uh, you have to open up the Android settings, which means it's not going to look like that. It's going to look like that on your Chromebook, and it will look like an Android phone, because Chrome OS is nothing but an Android anyway. And, you know, developer options should already be on, because you, if you have a Chromebook, I really recommend turning it into developer mode. If you don't know how to do that, escape, restart, power. And, um... It will erase everything. That's why it's recommended to do that when you get it. However, it's a Chromebook. Everything's synced with your Google account anyway. If it's not, make sure you turn on your sync. Anyway, I recommend turning off your animations, just like you would on a phone. If you watch videos of how to make your Android phone faster, I do recommend turning off the animations. But you can overclock your CPU by typing in on Chrome. You just open Chrome and type in Chrome. Semicolon, well colon regular colon i think i don't remember the difference between each one i'm pretty sure that's a regular colon i could be wrong and you went slash slash flags okay it's gonna pop up first thing for me because i have it enabled but you'll have to search for it so you want to you want to click you want to search for a scheduler s c h e d u LER and then space configuration and it pretty much makes it to where the CPU can overclock itself it's not by a lot but this will make your Chromebook hotter so you just let you know because most of them don't have a fan they're passively cooled so if you have it on your lap it will get warmer it's going to be set to default so you just want to click it right here and you want to click enable hybrid threading and then just click restart and then your Chromebook will be slightly overclocked it's not going to overclock it a lot, but it, you will notice, especially after turning off the animations and then doing that, you will notice a huge improvement. Anyway, I hope this helped. Bye-bye.